Warning, this fucking video contains spoilers. What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Middler here, back with another horror movie review with the Halloween review series. And as only know, it's going to be on Halloween for the return of Michael Myers. So, yeah, this movie brought back Michael Myers. It's also, not only that, this is the first uh, movie in the Thorn timeline. So, yeah. And it also um, features um, Jamie Lloyd, who's played by Daniel Harris. Not only that, this is her debut movie as well. Yeah, also brought back Dr. Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance. It's also a pretty great sequel. Take place 10 years after the second movie. Um, Michael Myers is in a coma. And um, apparently Dr. Loomis survived from the explosion. As you may know, he is burnt. Face is all damaged. As you may notice, the scar. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. For the first time in this Halloween review, I finally got negatives. So let's go ahead and start with a negative. All right, so... Here's my first negative. The movie is really not as scary as the first three movies. Um, mainly because, um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel scary to me for some apparent reason. Um, it's, I think it's because of the musical scores that got weaker or the more updated. It pretty much lacked the scariness. It's mainly because of the musical score, scores kind of lacked the scariness in this movie. That's probably why i don't find it very scary to be honest and um there's another negative um the two characters named brady and kelly are very unlikable characters i just hate them with a passion i'm glad they were killed off they're total assholes in this movie especially um the guy brady um he just cheats on his girlfriend um he's a total asshole to her he just treats her badly so yeah um that's another negative here. Also, um, there's a third negative as well. I can't take Michael's mask seriously. I mean, look at this. Does that look scary to you? It looks pretty goofy looking at times. And there's an era where his hair is blonde. <laughs> I just can't take this shit seriously, you guys. Um, that's another negative. And there's the last negative I got. Oh, the death scenes. Especially impaled by a shotgun. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That just, that scene just cringes me. There's, how in the hell can you die from a shotgun impalement in a he didn't even shoot her. And here's another death scene that I find really dumb. There's a scene where Michael puts his thumb in one of the paramedics' head. <laughs> Is that supposed to be brutal? I, I just find that really silly. Michael must have had long fingernails, but still, I, it looks like cheesy Friday the 13th kill scenes to me and yeah most of the kills are very memorable it's very dumb it's too dumbed down and it's kind of laughable at times so yeah all right that's pretty much my negative um i got one mixed opinion so it's the returning characters of tommy doyle and Lindsay wallace um it's nice to have a cameo from them but they really not need it in this movie they're just pretty pointless and i mean it's nice to have them as a cameo but at the same time it's pointless so there's that and that's the only mix i have on there all right now on to the positives. As of me know, great acting from Donald Pleasance as well as Dr. Loomis. Amazing performance from Daniel Harris as Jamie Lloyd, especially for a debut. And um, also the scene with Jamie being alone at the school at night is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed that scene. It's definitely terrifying. Um, you never know if Michael Myers is here. Especially where, um, outside, she got spooked by Dr. Loomis while trying to save her. Also, um, there's another positive. The scene with Michael getting shot by a group of truckers is fucking badass.
As I mean, know, he was gunned down by a group of truckers, but as I mean, know, he can't die. And also, the last um, positive, the un another unexpected ending, just like with Halloween 3. <laughs> They put it in a very perfect way to seep up the hype for Halloween 5, but I'm going to talk more about that when I get to the Halloween 5 review. So I'll save I'll save all that for Halloween 5, but I really enjoy the unexpected ending. It turns a massive shock, and it brought up the hype for the next movie. Um, the scene with Jamie starts killing her um, foster mother. It was very very unexpected yeah i definitely love that ending and that's pretty much um the positive guys so um yeah uh for the very first time i finally got the negatives here now my overall thoughts on halloween 4 it's still a good movie don't get me wrong i just don't think it's as good as the first three movies um i do think it's the best one in the thorn timeline um I don't think it's the best movie in general, but it's very far from the worst. But, um, yeah, it's a good movie in general, so I'll give this film a 3.5 out of 5. So, yeah, it's good. I wouldn't say it's great, but good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pr um, that's all I have to say here, so I guess you'll have to stay tuned for Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, so... That's all I have to say here, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell on the notification, make sure you leave a like and comment, and most importantly, share this video so I can get more views and subscribers. So until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, everyone.